Have you heard of the mythical MiG-25 Fox Bat? Out of the 48,000 aircraft in the world, it is a wonder to behold its Soviet engineering ingenuity that pushed for what was possible in the skies. Coming into the world during the Cold War, Fox Bat demonstrated the swift and decisive capabilities of the Soviet Union. However, its real story was kept secret, and this fact made the intrigue around it which captured the attention of Western intelligence. Let's peel off the layers to reveal what really happened with MiG-25 Fox Bat. In the 1960s, there was a big competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to be the best in the sky. The Soviet Air Force was worried about fast American bombers, especially the B-70 Valkyrie, that could be a threat to their land. The Soviets needed a super-fast plane that could catch and halt these bombers as a solution to this problem. It is then that the MiG-25 Fox Bat begins its story. The engineers in the Soviet Union, who were working on a secret project called Y-150, had to find out how they could build an aircraft that would fly at high speed with technology available during those times. They thought of some creative ideas. Instead of conventional materials, they constructed the aircraft from heavy but heat-tolerant stainless steel, essential for high-speed flying. They also employed potent turbojet engines that were fuel-hungry, but could prepare the aircraft at phenomenal rates. They even designed the plane to be able to dump fuel quickly for rapid ascent in order to satisfy their thirst. However, the Foxbat was not only about speed, it had a surprise. Apart from being an interceptor, it could also be used as a reconnaissance plane. Some variants of the Foxbat were fitted with potent cameras and radars, enabling Soviets to spy on their foes from great heights. This turned the Foxbat into a multi-purpose aircraft further enhancing its mystery and making it even more impressive. However, in 1976, something unique took place. A Soviet pilot named Viktor Belenko defected to Japan, flying his MiG-25 Foxbat there. This was a major development since, for the first time, the Western world had an opportunity to view closely some of the technologies that were on board. This incident altered the path of the Cold War arms race since Western intelligence agencies gained a lot from captured planes. What they found was that the MiG-25 Foxbat was one of the fastest production fighter jets in the world for more than 30 years, reaching an incredible speed of Mach 3.2, over 2,500 miles per hour. This incredible speed allowed it to intercept high-flying bombers like the B-70 Valkyrie before they could reach their targets. Its speed and durability were due to its construction, mainly from titanium a strong metal that does not melt in heat. This made the Foxbat look silver and went along with its nickname, the Beast of the East. It had some unique features, such as sharp, swept-back wings, which appeared like a predator's talons that enabled high speeds while limiting air resistance. These wings also carried long-range air-to-air missiles for destroying enemy aircraft. The delta wing design of the aircraft gave it stability at its top speed, Mach 2.3 but made Foxbat hard to control in low speeds. However, this disadvantage did not undermine the speed and stability of the Foxbat, which made it a tough rival in air battles against slower enemy planes. The Foxbat could achieve an incredible height of over 80,000 feet, which was above the range of most radars and missiles. This made it an unbeatable enemy for any aircraft that could penetrate Soviet airspace. Although the Foxbat was considered a fast plane, it was more than that. It was fitted with a very powerful radar and long-range missiles, which made it an efficient interceptor. Later versions were also employed for reconnaissance with sophisticated cameras and sensors. Its main air-to-air -air armaments were the R-40 long-range missiles, with a firing distance of more than 105 kilometers and over Mach 4. These missiles were meant to bring down high-flying bombers like the B-70 Valkyrie. For closer confrontations, the Foxbat was equipped with R-60 short-range missiles, which were maneuverable and heat-seeking, making them perfect for targeting enemy fighters within a range of approximately 5 miles. It also had a GSH-23 twin-barrel cannon, firing 23mm rounds at over 2,000 per minute for situations where missiles were not appropriate. Besides its offensive capabilities, the Fox Bat's reconnaissance variants were fitted with sophisticated sensors, such as high-resolution cameras and powerful radars, that gathered detailed information about enemy territory and aircraft movements. Such data was very important for Soviet military planning. The Foxbat was a pioneering design for its era, 
employing titanium and advanced technology that impacted the creation of subsequent fighter jets, not only in the Soviet Union, but also all over Europe. The MiG-25 Foxbat was an important component of the Cold War, contributing to deterrence and demonstrating technological superiority. It also had the ability to conduct spy missions instead of flashy dogfights or shooting down enemy jets. It was not primarily for shooting enemy, but an intelligence gathering machine. Armed with powerful cameras and radar, it could penetrate deep into NATO territory, observing bomber movements and mapping military bases. This helped the Soviet Union to be privy of NATO activities, which kept Western countries on their toes. The spying capabilities of the Foxbat were also quite important, as they compelled NATO to alter its strategies and come up with new ways in which it would defend itself from aircraft surveillance. This continuous surveillance made NATO feel like they were always under the watchful eye of a Foxbat, which was unnerving. Nevertheless, the effect of Foxbat was not only in maintaining Soviets on top intelligence-wise, it also propelled technological advancements in the aviation industry. To match the Foxbat, the West had to be creative, and this resulted in faster planes that could go higher than their counterparts from Russia. Better radars were also developed along with new ways of protecting against espionage. This contest resulted in improvements that benefited aviation as a whole, making aircraft safer, faster, and more efficient, defining modern airplane technology. The MiG-31 is the successor of the MiG-25. It inherits its predecessor's high-speed and long-range interceptor role, but has more advanced avionics and radar systems. Despite not being directly modeled on the MiG-25, F-15 development was motivated by the threat posed by Foxbat. The MiG-25 had to contend with the F-15 speed, agility, and powerful armament. Additionally, the Mirage F-1 was developed as a multi-role fighter plane, but had some common design features with MiG-25, including delta wing and high speed. It saw widespread combat service in various conflicts across the globe. In addition to this, the Lightning was a British interceptor aircraft that preceded MiG-25, but had some design commonalities, such as swept back delta wings and high speed. It served the Royal Air Force with honor for several years. The MiG-25 is still in use by different countries across the world due to its age. It is being updated with the latest technology to keep it relevant in the 21st century. Algeria is one of the countries modernizing their MiG-25 fleet employing an RDM-2 program to improve its jets with advanced Israeli radar and electronic systems. These modernizations increase the jet's threat detection and tracking capabilities, while providing improved navigation and communication systems for more effective mission performance. India's MiG-25 fleet, referred to as the Foxbat, is also being modernized. The Indian Air Force is developing the jet's avionics and weapon systems, installing new digital displays in the cockpit as well as advanced radars for all-weather operations. Other advanced weapons, including long-range air-to-air missiles, are also being incorporated in order to improve the combat efficiency of the jet. Even former Warsaw Pact nations, such as Bulgaria, are also modernizing their MiG-25s. Bulgaria is collaborating with Israel to enhance the defensive capabilities of their jet by fitting advanced radar warning receivers and electronic countermeasure systems that will protect jets from enemy radars and missiles. These modernization programs have their own challenges, such as the difficulty and expense of integrating advanced technology into old aircraft, together with worries about spares availability and keeping those aging jets maintained over time. Nevertheless, despite these difficulties, the MiG-25 is still an attractive option for countries seeking a cost-efficient solution to air defense. Its speed, powerful engines, and armaments make it a valuable commodity. The fact that the MiG-25 is still being upgraded shows it has a spot in modern air forces and some machines, no matter their age, can be relevant. If you found the video interesting, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like it as well. Please watch another one of our videos. See you again soon.